This is an old sink. I have full of wonderful herbs. We've got some oregano over here and some beautiful rosemary, lots of chives over there, some, both some garlic and some regular chives over there. But the rosemary are the ones I'm looking at right now. They are so fragrant. I absolutely love them. They're evergreen and they're just such wonderful, really beautifully fragrant herbs. So useful in the kitchen. I love using them in things like sourdough crackers when I make them. They just add an extra really good flavor punch. This one over here too. I've grown some from seed and it was a little bit of a long thing to do because it did take some time they had to germinate and just they grew quite slowly for me anyhow but it's so much easier to grow them from cuttings and when you do that when you do some snipping off of the little branches down here it encourages them to shoot out to the sides as well side shoots and you get like a much bushier plant anyhow so it's always a good thing to do so i've taken lots of cuttings now you can see it's quite well trimmed here both plants and I'll just show you the easiest way to go about propagating these guys and just growing lots of beautiful rosemary plants. The thing is, they are Mediterranean, so they don't like wet feet. And lots of times this tub here does get quite wet, especially in the winter. So I'm not sure how well these little plants will do here. So it's always good to have extras too. You can never have too much rosemary, too many herbs in general, really. So I'll just take you over to where I've got my little rosemary cuttings and we'll get to potting them up. So I'm all set up here. I've got my rosemary cuttings. What I've done is I've stripped the bottom. Let's have a look here. Stripped the bottom. Long bit of stalk there where I can just shoot out loads of roots and all the nodes. And then there's still all this beautiful piney needles there in the top. I've got myself some pots there, two pots. And usually I would dip the tips here or the ends in rooting hormone, but I don't have any. I ran out for some reason, but you can use cinnamon too. It's just as good easily, probably even better. And it's just a natural thing to do. Really brilliant. So you just treat it the same way as you would regular rooting hormone. Just take it and just make sure that the stem is coated in the cinnamon. It's a little bit tricky to do with one hand, but you know, see how we go. Get everything coated in that beautiful cinnamon. I just love the smell of rosemary. It's so gorgeous. And see that there it is all coated. And I'll just take it over here and I'll make a little hole. I always like to plant my cuttings and the edges of the pots. It allows them to sort of hit the sides and then split their roots rather than just grow one long root down to the bottom of the pot. There we go. That's one done. I'll just do them all here, just filling up the two pots all along the sides and then give them a good water and that's actually all it takes. So let me just get on with that quickly. So there they are, all potted up, right around the edges, a bunch of little rosemary cuttings. They smell delicious. And hopefully they'll just root now. We're in August, so they've got lots of time to root before winter. And then I want to pot them up when they've got some good roots. I want to pot them up into well-draining soil in a pot. Because I put them out into other areas of my garden and it does get really wet, especially during winter. And um, yeah, they just don't like that. They want more dry soil. And I can keep them more on a dry side and also in a more protected spot away from lots and lots of rain if they're in a nice little pot. But it's such an easy way to propagate these beautiful herbs. Such a nice way to get lots of free herbs. So I do hope you'll try it. Let me know what you think.